So the first question of this season. There are a total of 75 Ramsar sites in India. Which state has the maximum number of Ramsar sites? West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh. Which state has the maximum number of Ramsar sites in India? 10 seconds left to answer. It's almost over. 23 answers we have already got. It's almost over the time. Ah, time is over. Tamil Nadu is the correct answer with 14 Ramsar sites. 15 participants opted the right answer. So we will now move to the scoreboard. After each question, the scoreboard will appear. So now BQ17 is on the top, followed by BQ44, BQ69, BQ27, and BQ19. Now the second question. This is an Indian bullfrog. The figure depicts a non-breeding male, breeding male, breeding female, or non-breeding female. 10 seconds left to answer. The figure depicts five seconds left. 26 answers we got. Now time almost is over. And the time is over. Breeding male is the right answer. 22 participants chose the option correctly. Now the scoreboard. It changed BQ17 still in first position, followed by BQ69, then BQ58. Now the third question. Name this only poisonous bird in the world. Who did Pitohui? Black hooded cuckoo, black hooded magpie, black tailed oriental magpie. 10 seconds left to answer. Only poisonous bird in the world. Time is almost over. And the time is over. The right answer is Hooded Pitohui. 13 participants opted the right answer. Now the scoreboard. BQ17 still at the first position, followed by BQ69, then BQ58. Next question of level one Identify this insect. It's a dragonfly, damselfly, owlfly, or scorpion fly. Identify this insect. 10 seconds left to answer. You have to identify this insect. Time is almost over. The correct answer is owlfly, not a dragonfly. It's looking similar to dragonfly, but it's an owlfly. Two participants got the correct answer. So must be there will be a change in the scoreboard. Let's see. Yes, the position got changed entirely. BQ53 is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ17. It's getting yeah, the picture is really puzzling. It, it, it looks like a dragonfly. Okay, so we are uh, moving forward to our next question. Name this disaccharide. Lactose, sucrose, maltose, or trihalo. Name this disaccharide. Lactose, sucrose, maltose, or trihalo. Time is almost over. It was maltose. 11 participants got it the right answer. Now moving to the scoreboard. Again changed, BQ69 is on the top, followed by BQ58, then BQ27. So, next question of level 1. Kiwi is endemic to Brazil, Australia, Japan or New Zealand. Kiwi, a flightless bird that is endemic to Brazil, Australia, Japan or New Zealand. 5 seconds left to answer the question. And it's almost over. The time is almost over. Ah, 18 participants opted the right answer. That is New Zealand. Kiwi is endemic to New Zealand. Now the scoreboard. BQ69 is still in the top. Followed by BQ27 and then BQ53. Now the next question. 
the genetic relatedness between you and your cousin is 0 0.625, 0 0.25, 0 0.125 or 0.125. The genetic relatedness between you and your cousin. Five seconds left to answer this question. Now it's almost over. Yes. Uh, the right answer is 0 0.125. Six participants got it correct. Now let's see the scoreboard. Now BQ27 is on the top, followed by BQ53, then BQ69. The game is changing after every question. That's makes, uh, that makes it very interesting now. So uh, next question of level A. DNA barcoding was developed by Paul Herbert, Frederick Sanger, Robert Wimber, Carey Mullis. DNA barcoding was developed by which scientist? Eight seconds left. DNA barcoding was developed by. Time is almost over. The right answer is Paul Herbert. Seven participants opted the right answer. Now let's see the scoreboard. Again, change in the scoreboard. BQ53 is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ27. So we are moving forward to the next question of level A. Choose the mammal with even number of toes. Horse, rhinosaurus, hippopotamus, zebra. Choose the mammal with even number of toes. Horse, rhinosaurus, hippopotamus, zebra. Time is almost over. Hippopotamus is the correct answer. 12 participants opted the right answer. Hippopotamus is an archaeodactyl. So it is having the even number of toes and this is the right answer. So let's see the scoreboard. Till now, BQ53 is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ27. Now, the next question. This is the logo of Wildlife Institute of India, Zoological Survey of India, Wildlife Crime Control Bureau of India, National Biodiversity Authority of India. Its logo is off. Almost six seconds are left. This is the last question of level A, by the way. Uh, time is almost over. 21 participants opted the right answer. National Biodiversity Authority India is the correct answer. So now the scoreboard. BQ53 is still in the top, followed by BQ27, then BQ67. So now we'll be moving to our next level, that is level B. Well played by first three position holders, and good luck for the next level. Level two is the optic chiasma. Here also, you will get 10 questions, and each question you will be having 20 seconds to answer. The more faster, uh, the more fast to answer the correct answer, the more point you will get. So, moving forward to our first question of level two. Identify this deep sea shark, hammer headed shark, goblin shark, tiger shark, great white shark. Identify this deep sea shark. This is very unusual looking shark. Five seconds left to answer. And it's almost over. Ten participants got the correct answer. That's a goblin shark. Now let's move to our scoreboard. Again changed. Now again BQ69 is on the top, followed by BQ53, then BQ27. Now the second question of level two. This is the bird. Uh, this bird is the state bird of which state? Sikkim, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya. This bird is the state bird of which of the following states? Sikkim, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya. Five seconds left to answer. Time is almost over. Time's up. Uh, the correct answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Ten participants. Uh, Chose the right answer. So now move on to the scoreboard. BQ69 is on the top, followed by BQ67 and BQ53. Let's move on to the next question of level two. The IUCN threatened status of Bengal florican is CRNT, ENR, VU. 
critically endangered, near threatened, endangered, or vulnerable. The IUCN threat status of Bengal florican. Time is almost over. The correct answer was critical endangered CR. Nine participants chose the correct option. Now the scoreboard. BQ69 is on the top, followed by BQ67 and then BQ53. Now, moving forward to the next question. Name the bone outlined in red. Metacarpal, calcaneus, talus, or cuboid. Name the bone outlined in red. Metacarpal, calcaneus, talus, or cuboid. Five seconds left to answer. Time is almost over. Time's up. Okay, calcaneus is the right answer. Six participants got the correct answer. Now, moving to the scoreboard. Again, changed. BQ67 now is on the top, followed by BQ69 and BQ27. So, the next question of level two that's a true or false. Hardened folding of beetles is called elytra. True or false? This statement is true or false. Almost 10 seconds left to answer. Hardened folding of beetles is called elytra. This statement is true or false? Time's up. 22 participants got the correct answer. It was a true statement. The hardened folding of beetles is called elytra. Now the scoreboard, BQ67 is on the top, then BQ27 and then BQ53. Moving to the next question. This frog has been selected as a flagship species for conservation in Kerala. Name it. Dragon frog, Akash Ganga frog, Galaxy frog, Blue Spine frog. This frog has been selected as a flagship species for conservation in Kerala. Name this frog. Almost five seconds left. Now the time's up. Let's see the correct answer. Correct answer is the galaxy frog. 13 participants got the correct answer. Now let's see the scoreboard. BQ27 is now on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ53. Moving to the next question of level two. Name this flightless bird, a close relative of penguins and became extinct in the mid 19th century. Great auk, moa, dodo or elephant bird. Name this flightless bird, a close relative of penguins and became extinct in the mid 19th century. Almost five seconds are remaining. And it's over. So the correct answer was great auk. Eight participants have opted the correct answer, that is Great Auk. The scoreboard, BQ27 is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ53. Now, moving to the next, post, next question. What is the total length of coastline of India? 7316 kilometer, 3553 kilometer, 10,562 kilometer, 1200 kilometer. What is the total length of coastline of India? Almost five seconds are remaining. Coastline of India. 20 participants got the correct answer. 7516 kilometer is the total length of coastline of India. Scoreboard BQ27 still on the top, followed by BQ53 and BQ67. Moving to the next question. Name the phytochemical compound that is extracted from the holy basil and it has anti-cancer properties. Vinblastin, biotin, eugenol, curcumin. The phytochemical compound that is extracted from holy basil or tulsi that has an anti-cancer property. Time is almost over. Time's up. It's eugenol. Only five participants got the correct answer. The compound is eugenol that is extracted from the holy basil or tulsi and has anti-cancer properties. Change in the scoreboard, BQ53 now is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ27. 
now the last question of level 2 the order of this insect is odonata dermatera orthoptera coleoptera the order of this insect is odonata dermatera orthoptera coleoptera this insect is called earwig now you have to tell the order of this insect three seconds only left time's up is the order of dermatera only five participants got the right answer here it belongs to the order dermatera again change in the scoreboard bq37 again on the top followed by bq53 then bq67 so now very well played by 27 53 and 67 and good luck for the final round we are now moving uh, forward to the last level of our quiz that is level 3 named biological paradox there will be also 10 questions and each question will be having 20 seconds except the last question each question of this round will have the uh, 20 seconds time limit except the last one so all the best participants we are now at the level three the last level of bio quiz this year now let's begin with the first question of level three one nanometer is equal to how much angstrom 10 0 0.1 0 0.01 or 100 one nanometer is equals to how much angstrom 10 0 0.1 0 0.01 or 100 five seconds left now the time is almost over and time's up. 17 participants opted the correct answer that is 1 nanometer is equal to 10 angstrom. Now the scoreboard BQ27 is on the top followed by BQ53 and BQ67. So uh, we are moving to the next question. Eastern coast of Madagascar is biogeographically similar to Western coast of Malaysia, Western coast of India, Western coast of Australia, Western coast of Myanmar. A very important biogeographical region that is Eastern coast of Madagascar is similar to which of the following regions? Time is almost over. Time is up. 14 participants opted the correct answer that is Western coast of India. Eastern coast of Madagascar is biogeographically similar to western coast of India. Let's see the scoreboard. BQ27 is still on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ53. Moving to the next question of this round. The synchronized large-scale nesting of some species of sea turtle is called Termitarium Dre Adibada Dot. The synchronized large scale nesting of some species of sea turtle is called Termitarium Dre Aribada Lodge. Five seconds left to answer this question. Now the time's over. Aribada is the correct option. 12 participants have opted the correct answer. BQ27 still on the top, followed by BQ67 and then BQ53. Now the next question of this level, true or false? This figure illustrates a right skewed distribution. This statement is true or false? This figure illustrates a right skewed distribution. This statement is true or false? A question from Biostat. Uh, this figure illustrates a right skewed distribution. Five seconds left to answer this question. It was a true statement that curve or illustrates a right skewed or positive distri positive skewed distribution. That was a true statement. 11 participants opted the correct answer. Change in the position of the scoreboard. BQ67 now is on the top, followed by BQ27, then BQ53. Moving to the next question. Global Seed Vault is situated in Sweden, Greenland, Moscow, Norway. Global Seed Vault is situated in Sweden, Greenland, Moscow, Norway. Five seconds left to answer this question. Global Seed Vault. Time is almost over. 
Norway was the right answer. 16 participants got the correct answer. Global Seed Vault is situated in Norway. Let's see the scoreboard. BQ67 is on the top, followed by BQ27, then BQ53. Moving to the next question. In animal behavior, the term Zugun Rohi means intraspecific competition, mate choice, foraging, migratory restlessness. In animal behavior, the term Zugun Rohi means five seconds left to answer this question. Time is almost over. And it over 90 participants got the correct answer. In animal behavior, the term Zugun Rohi means migratory restlessness. Moving to the scoreboard, BQ67 is still on the top, followed by BQ27, then BQ53. Moving to the next question of this level, this moss species belongs to same species, but they exhibit phenotypic variation depending on environmental condition. This phenomenon is known as hybrid ecocline ecotype or ecotone. This moss species, as in the figure, belongs to the same species, but they exhibit phenotypic variation depending on environmental condition. Three seconds left to answer this question. And the time's up. It was a phenomenon called ecotype. 12 participants opted the correct answer. That was a ecotype. Now the scoreboard again, BQ27 is on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ53. Moving to the next question. World Mangrove Day is celebrated on 26th July, 14th April, 13th June or 16th February. World Mangrove Day is celebrated on 26th July, 14th July, 14th April, 13th June or 16th February. Five seconds left to answer this question. And it's over. Correct answer is 26th July. 20 participants opted the correct answer. So let's see the scoreboard. BQ27 is on the top. BQ67 then is on the second. Then BQ53. Let's move on to the next question. The ninth question. Choose the wrong match of disease and its vector. Zika, Aedes, Lyme disease, ticks, malaria, anophilus, sleeping sickness, trypanosome. You have to choose the wrong match of these and its vector. Five seconds left to answer this question. Time is almost over. The correct answer is sleeping sickness and trypanosoma. It's the wrong match. Sleeping sickness vector is the set C fly. Others' options were correct. You have to choose the wrong match. So now moving to the scoreboard. BQ27 still on the top, followed by BQ67, then BQ53. May I request, sir, to announce the names of these three because we are moving to the last question of this uh, level. Yeah, sure. Uh, First one is BQ27. BQ27 is Doi Payan Shorkar. BQ67, now in position two, that is uh, Shoyan Shorkar. And BQ53 in third position right now is Risha Ghosh. Okay, why I all said to announce these names? Because we are moving to the last question of this quiz. Last question every year, uh, it's very interesting because by choosing the correct answer, you will fetch double points and that can change the entire game. So, this year we have added one another thing. The last question will be a kind of a puzzle, means yes. the last question will be having options, four options. You have to arrange the options as per the order asked in the question. And Rupam, Rupam, one minute. Uh, and one thing that you can, uh, the, those options, you can move those options up and down so that uh, to arrange it correctly, right? And yes. keep calm, take your time and answer. There will be how much time, Rupam? 30 seconds for this question. You have to arrange the options as per asked in the question. 
and by correct by choosing the correct order or option you will uh, get double points so the entire scoreboard can change and we will move to the podium after the last question yes yes, yes. okay so, so wish you good all luck the all now the last question of this bio quiz season 4 2023 arrange the following geological periods from oldest to newest you have to arrange the following geological period from oldest to newest 20 seconds left we are getting answers you have to arrange the following geological periods from oldest to newest 5 seconds left to answer and it's over only one participant choose the correct way or order 26 participants is the wrong from oh, the oldest oh. to the newest is the carboniferous period then permian period then triassic period then jurassic period so as i told the last question every season uh, anybody can get confused so easily so only one participant got the correct order and got the correct answer so now let's see the podium who are the top 3 of the bio quiz season 4 then side will uh, announce the names of them also so here we are having the podium number 3 third position dq53 again dq57 and the first is Runners up for position B will be the most in position. I can see, but we will let you know. Congratulations to all the winners. Yes, congratulations to all. Uh, wait, wait, wait till he time announcing the names. I think it's same, sir. Not changed. Yeah. <laughs> uh uh bq27 that is uh, uh doipan making uh, bq27 doipan sarkar um uh, is the first rank holder and then the first runner up is bq67 that is tran sarkar and the second runner up is bq53 that is the uh, rishak ghosh and uh, have the institute names also sir yes uh, doipan is from uh, uh, ex student of barakpur rashtraguru surendranath college and um, uh, bq67 is from presidency university shoyan sarkar and bq53 the current student of uh, barakpur rashtraguru surendranath college zoology department so congratulations okay. to all uh, and and one thing for the first time uh, i have seen that for, uh, uh, from the almost almost from the beginning these three uh, contestant were in the first three positions right yes somehow in between it got changed but they hold their position yeah 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 and uh, that's uh, that's actually amazing and uh, now i would like to uh, uh, rupam please uh, i congratulate all of you first of all because uh, 